I'm uh, delightful, delighted to uh, share with uh, people across the continents and uh, through the oceans. And thank you, Luda, for setting it up. Um, I'm very glad to be in contact, to be in touch. And we, we, we shall um, discuss, I hope, um, the difference of uh, being close in isolation, the difference from uh, the physical presence. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to talk about the body in the Zoom, in, on the internet, and I'm going to share my presentation with you. Is it working? Yeah, yes it is. Good. <laughs> um, so is um, the, the body back to fashion? Um, my um, isolation was at home in Moscow, and um, I, because I'm a dance historian and dance practitioner uh, of a sort, I did a lot of um, uh, various workshops, movement, uh, dance workshops, uh, ballet, but also musical movement, uh, Duncan, uh, yoga, um, uh, and some dance uh, and movement therapy with friends. Um, and uh, I'm actually, uh, I'm, I, I'd like to, I, I made a, a little survey asking my friends around what, what their body, body the practices, uh, dance and movement uh, practices were in isolation. And every, many of my uh, colleagues and friends were involved and did these practices. But what I'm going to present uh, for you now is uh, slightly different. It's um, um, a paper by uh, the uh, philosopher, the Serbian, uh, in origin philosopher Slava Žižek, um, who discusses um, the, um, how the notion of closeness in intimacy is changing uh, because of the internet and, and uh, uh, the, finally because of um, the, the, the things going on to, to Zoom and um, online more and more. And what uh, happened, this is a, a, a joke, of course, but it's a chart of uh, what um, was going under um, the quarantine. And you see the bra goes out first. And I, I wonder how many of us ladies ha ha are having their bras on today. Um, coffee stays, uh, car goes down, internet goes up and, and so on. Um, but uh, what is really uh, on and going is sweatpants which we, we've been talking about today already. So sweatpants and um, all kinds of exercises um, um, in isolation. But what is missing from this chart is um, um, a very important thing, is the bodily contact, is the physical closeness. What is, what is happening to physical contact, to, um, including intimacy, including uh, lovemaking, including sex? what is uh, happening uh, <clears throat> with it because of the COVID. <clears throat> and uh, here is the um, quotation from Slavoj Žižek, uh, who says that the COVID epidemic will certainly give a boost to digital sexual games, but hopefully it will also lead to a new appreciation of physical intimacy. And we will remember that sex between two people is a medium for spirituality. Uh, what he means is the um, uh, restrictions uh, on seeing each other, and um, this is a, um, also a joke, a cartoon, um, imagining, envisaging our future when uh, everything will be in line, which Slavoj Žižek protests uh, against, and he argues against it. He argues that uh, real closeness is only possible where two bodies are present together in the same, they're sharing the same space, time and space. But what he is really uh, protesting against is the, uh, some sort of regulation. I, I actually don't know whether the National Health Service in Britain or some other instance um, introduced this uh, recommendations, or medical recommendations. Taking a break from physical and face-to-face -face interactions is worth considering, especially if you usually meet your sex partners online or make a living by having sex. Consider using video dates, sexting or chat rooms. And this is something that uh, Zizek quotes in his article. And um, uh, this is Othello and this Dimona, but um, the, recent, the, the, the recent joke is that 
in the new version, in the COVID version of uh, Shakespeare's Othello, this demon strangles herself. She strangles herself because there's nobody around <laughs> to help uh, to, to fulfill the finale of the tragedy. Uh, so we do more and more things in isolation, um, solo, uh, ourselves to ourselves. And uh, the same recommendations, same medical recommendations um, uh, instruct you to disinfect your keyboard uh, after the computer and sexual games and touch screens that you share with others. Masturbation will not spread coronavirus, especially if you wash your hands and any sex toys with soap and water for at least 20 seconds before and after. And Zizek, so he, he, has, he is a, a radical Marxist, but he is outraged by his suggestion, by the suggestion. And um, I, I think uh, he's become a really a, an old man, a moralist between us. Um, but he actually believes that um, a new appreciation of sexual intimacy will arise out of the epidemics. So, in spite of these instructions, or perhaps uh, because of the, the, these instructions, the um, physical closeness together in one uh, space and time will be more appreciated. We will learn again the lesson of Andrei Tarkovsky, and here he refers to the famous uh, film director, uh, for whom Earth um, it's, is inert human stuff is not opposed to spirituality, by, but it's very medium. It means that uh, the dirty things like uh, uh, hardcore court porn um, are dirty things in, 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 in Zizek's terms, um, were well, not opposed to spirituality, but um, the bodily practices will lead to a spiritual being. And um, <clears throat> Andrei Tarkovsky, to whom he refers, he uh, is one of the, the best films um, is uh, Mira, Zerkala in Russian. Uh, and um, in, in the course of the film, um, there are uh, words, declamation by Andrei Tarkovsky's father, the poet Arseniy Tarkovsky, um, who wrote in a poem, uh, a soul is sinful without a body, like a body without clothes. And here is the poem in full, in full. There are uh, two relevant verses of, of this poem. Um, I can uh, read it in either Russian or um, English. It's my translation, so it's not very beautiful. The human body is separate, held in isolation. The soul is bloody wary of such a solid casing. It means, uh, it means what it means. It means that uh, we can't change our body. We, we have it. And it's uh, both the source of our trouble and uh, the source of our comfort. It's both a threat because it contains virus, but it's also um, um, the instance of resilience. We, we resist with our body. Um, and um, the, the lines that uh, Zizek quotes are in the second, uh, the lower part, <clears throat> excuse me, the soul is sinful without a body, as a body without a shirt. No thought, no action, no conception, no lie. Uh, we do everything through the body. So the bodily practices are very important. And the conclusion that uh, Zizek uh, makes in his uh, short uh, COVID article is masturbation in front of hardcore porn images is sinful, while bodily contact is a path to spirituality. Actually, the body leads to the real bodily con uh, contact, the real intimacy, physical intimacy um, leads to the spiritual revival. That's a very uh, optimistic statement, but the whole um, argumentation by Zizek, I think it's a kind of moralistic male preoccupation, uh, it seems to me. <clears throat> but it makes me think about, uh, um, I think existential, existential issues. And uh, one existential issue I present uh, you, to you here, the body is the soul, actually, and the soul is the body, and the bodily practices, okay, Luda, got it. Uh, the bodily practices um, um, provide um, uh, food for the, the soul, as well as for uh, the musculation or any other kind of practices you can name, whether you do it in isolation or together with people, bring the body and soul together. And as I, uh, as I said, um, the, the whole host of various bodily practices and they've been uh, 
commercialized already and advertised everywhere and some people purchase uh, or consume them but also um, practices introduced by friends uh, do it yourself and um, other things a really uh, something really to study for the future the what how many of them came up from quarantine but i actually want to um tell you about one of the uh, least bodily practice that I had. And this least bodily practice uh, led me to think that uh, the body is the soul and the soul is the, the body. And this practice, which has uh, been organized by dance and movement therapists here in Moscow, uh, Irina Ivanikova and Alexandra Nalotova, and this is a practice of inaction. It means that you don't have to do anything. You, you just sit or you work, or you lie, you, you, you stay uh, at home with yourself in presence, in the internet presence of other people. And that was the most powerful thing that I experienced uh, during the, my isolation, because um, it, it gives you your body what it wants, and your soul what it wants. Um, it, as opposite to needs, we have wants. And many bodily practices uh, require you to do an effort to um, perfect yourself, as Lynn, Lynn Garalik, uh, Lenor Garalik said, uh, it, it puts pressure on you. But when you remove this pressure and you don't have to do anything, you return to your wants, you re return to your desires. And this practice um, suggests to me that the Slavoj Žižek was wrong in um, separating uh, the body and the soul, that um, somehow it comes together. And uh, whether we are um, in isolation by ourselves or whether we are uh, on the Zoom together, we can experience the same cl uh, closeness that Slavoj Žižek wanted to experience through sex. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Irina. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, colleagues, questions? Uh, comments on this, uh, yes, on this important topic. <laughs> how have, yeah, how has your perception of body changed? Uh, yeah, because I heard quite a lot about this in the interviews uh, you've been doing. Right. Hello. Yes. Hello. Uh, hello. Hi. Hi, my name is Susan Settler and I am a dance practitioner. And in fact, I'm a somatic practitioner and I think there's a couple of things that I query is your your idea or your concept of intimacy I think you're relating to sexuality but intimacy does not have to relate to sexuality you can be intimate with yourself in your particular habitus in a particular place with a particular uh, object or plants or other so I think already that is kind of uh, to be careful of the wording, of the language. And then furthermore, this whole idea of, yes, um, we are bodily connected in the internet, but I think it's how we are connected with it or how we can allow um, ourselves to take this inactivity or this rest or moreover, getting what we need. I mean, practitioners such as Deborah Hay, um, a whole host of somatic practitioners talk about um, asking the question, what do we need? What do we need at this moment? So it's a tuning in. It's less about the body as the shape, as the form, but more going internally into the body so that we have this agency and understanding of what's happening. So I think there's a whole host of practices that I think within somatic practices that will give you more um, gravitas and understanding how how the body can connect with the digital with the digital medium, and what we need to do in order to connect more um, more deeply and to allow more agency. Well, th thank you, Susan, for your comment. When talking about, I, I am uh, but sloppy about my the use of my words. Just I I, I wanted to add this dimension of um, existential dimension, if I may. Um, but um, I'm. Uh, uh, answering, I'm responding to Slavoj Žižek's paper, and uh, if uh, anybody wants to read it, what I'm arguing against, I can uh, post a, a link if you want, um, so you can judge for yourself what uh, Žižek calls physical intimacy, physical closeness, and what I'm, I'm responding from your position, from the systematic and movement position, that you can have 
can be intimate without being involved in, in sex, uh, either physical or computer sex.